And a good morning, everybody. It is uh, the uh, dawn of day 15. I, in case you saw last, uh, last episode, I did uh, die a horrible death, which really sucks. Uh, but I shall continue on. You can hear a bunch of zombies, and I am currently uh, remaking uh, a bunch of uh, stuff for the old. Uh, it's like I have managed to scavenge together a blunderbuss, and I have managed to get a... I did have the spike club that I found when I went treasure hunting one time. And so... It really... Uh, I've lost a lot. I lost my shotgun, my handgun, my nail gun, my... My wrench, it's... And, uh, well... I will not, uh, I will not, uh, surrender to this. It's like... If anything, it's like I thought on last Fortnite, and uh, I did. Uh, I did give my. And it made me realize that I should, uh. I should absolutely. Get that uh, floor there. Uh, uh, finished up, and I need to at least have, have my stuff moved up there. But with all that being said, I have up the difficulty to the uh, the second highest uh, difficulty. I will edit that in, uh, you know, in editing. But it's like uh, so, zombies have gone even more difficult, and it's one step below insane. So it's like this ought to be interesting. Got these guys down. We're yeah. So like, really, the big the big goal for this week in general is just first off, get get some supply built up again. But then also to sorry, uh, get the get them built up and. Like, I already got a pickaxe, and I just need a little bit of wood for a little bit of, uh, to get my fire axe going again. And I need a fire wrench. I need a lot of things. I am thankful to have the blunderbuss, though, and at least the mini bike can, didn't get destroyed. But yeah, I needed to centralize the loot into that horde base up there, and I need to get it finished. Horde night, have for my next Horde night because I am, because that was my biggest mistake of the the Horde, uh, not finishing, well, not having my ammo on me, and that is uh, my weakness. But search up the loot of these guys, and while I'm doing that, the the goal of today's episode, the mission is going to be to raid five safes, and the potential reward is hazmat. Chess piece and the the penalty for next episode if I don't do that is uh, no repairing weapons, which that would be a huge uh, kind of downgrade for me. Just get these guys loot up, and I do want to say I have changed it. Uh, there's a new set of challenges in for late game. I consider myself into the later game now, considering how much I've leveled up and starting to get into concrete and everything. But with all that being said, I am going to get my stuff organized and put together, and I will be with you guys uh, on our first raid, which I believe might be the uh, will be this bank over here. I think that's the bank. Because that will help us get our saves, and it will also give me some weapon parts, and we can start rebuilding. So, I will join you guys over there in just a second. Hey guys, quick little interruption here uh, as I'm, I'm making my way over to the Ostrich Hotel. It's not a bank, but uh, I do want to say if you guys are subscribed to me and and you like my content and you want to chat with me personally, I have made a Discord server for you guys, and it will be linked down below. <laughs> And it is the best way to contact with me. All that being said, let's uh, get right into it. Let's 
So I'm raiding the cars here. Nice engine. Very nice. Uh, and some glue. Holy bread. I do want to say I am thankful to have all this, uh, you know, to be able to have a, uh, what do you call it, you know, blunderbuss here. I should just, uh, keep this, uh, lit up for you guys, and the nice thing about the blunderbusses, and even though it's a, uh, early game weapon, it's, uh, it can be a very powerful tool. Just grabbing stones uh, real quick because uh, I do have uh, paper and gunpowder on me because that's how easy making blunderbuss ammo is. It's literally just stones, gunpowder, and paper. If you're saying to me like, yo, how can you make uh, gunpowder? So well, like, it's really not that hard. You just need uh, early on. It's Two nitrate and two coal per gunpowder, and you know that if you get your hands on a on a work uh, chemistry station, you can you can turn that into one gunpowder, well one nitrate and one coal per gunpowder early on, and it's like uh, which is uh, the nice way of making gunpowder. We've raided into the. Uh, basement of the hotel here. Uh, let's see here. Nice new fire axe. I did get an extra one, so anything that could be used for... Actually, you know what? I'll use the, the poor quality one before making... This is a good place for uh, looting, so... Come on. I don't, don't want to get poked here, but I know there's a couple safes in here. Almost part the desk. Give me the shades. Anything in here? Nothing. Diver's book. I think I've read that. Yep. Yeah, definitely gonna make some uh, new armor uh, once I get back to base. It's like I think that's one of those things. Where, like I'm taking so much damage. Ah! Whoops! And that's what I get for not making armor. So, I'm gonna make some scrap armor now, and I'm going to uh, catch up with you guys in, in a little bit. <laughs> okay, after an embarrassing death, uh, the second death within the past, uh, not even 12 hours, uh, <laughs> no big deal, it's like, I could still rebuild from that. It's like definitely not gonna demotivate me. It's like well, I did lose that blunderbuss in the ammo and a bunch of stuff, but no biggie. Gonna I'm just gonna gloss over over that death. I'm still fairly new to this game. I didn't realize just how hard the zombies hit in this on a on a the second highest difficulty. But damn, do they hit hard. So back to what I was doing, uh, gotta go back over and raid the, uh, raid the Ostrich Hotel, still got that mission to do. <laughs> I, I just kinda laugh at that, I'm like, oh, I did not realize how hard these guys hit. I just stopped and chopped this tree real quick. I did not realize just how hard they hit, but nice little teaching lesson for me. <laughs> You live and you learn. Well, I guess in this case, I die and I learn. Oh, got old uh, Mikey with his swagger over here. Mikey, not really in the mood for the fight. Come on, take your nap. Another treasure map. Is it Raphael's? No, it's Claude's. Got Nancy. Come here, Nance. This time I actually crafted myself some scrap armor. Not the best quality, but hey, we'll get through it. Oh, Nancy. There you go, Nancy. 
Let's see, you're dead. No, you're making fun of There you go. And. Got our pickaxe now. I'm gonna keep. I'm just. I'm just keeping on soldier through this because I'm like. It's like I'm still trying to think of a new series for. Uh, oh. I think this is the curly that killed me. Definitely watch how these zombies hit now. There you go, curly. Stay down. Keep my bandages on me in case I you know, start bleeding. Um. There's one safe I can raid. Shotgun shell 7.62 and 44 magnum grips, so that's good for the hunting rifle. So I'm just gonna raid into the safe here and I will be back in just a second. And let's see what we got. Um, hunting rifle parts, okay, can use that. There is another safe in here. So we're looking okay on safes at the moment. More 762s. Better <laughs> overalls, which yeah, even their disrepaired state, you know, they're they're still looking good on that. More murder <laughs> overalls and brown brown bandana. Where those because even if they don't give me much in terms of it's like bandana can help me cool off a little bit, um There we go. And I can just use that stuff to repair and I'll break into this safe. See what we got in this one now. Ooh, very nice hunting rifle parts, pistol grip, and uh, shotgun receiver. So, it's good parts in there. Got someone to say hello to me. Uh, break through this real quick. And nothing under there. Oh, doors unlocked. No loot in there though. It's dollars. Nothing in the cabinet. Uh, this is the gift shop. Yep, with the gift shop. Uh, More money out of the register, paper, beer, more beer, even more beer, and some water. So I guess I'm ready to go for a night on the in town. But let's see here. Um, I'm gonna start clearing these uh, rooms floor by floor, and I'm going to. And I'll let you know if I find anything interesting in here. Hey, we found a wrench. Very happy with that. But that means I can, once the time comes, I can actually uh, uh, move my workbenches over, which is very nice. And that's why I haven't placed the chemistry station down yet. I don't want to, like, uh, I didn't want to place it down because it's like it's not used for all that much. But anyways, uh, I found that for you guys. I'll let you know if I find anything more interesting. And I've decided to come up to the you know, roof of the place. I decided to skip some of the floors because it's a lot of the same thing, just looting. And because I knew there's some gun store crates uh, up here, and well, gun store crate. I think a working stuffs. Yeah, working stuff. Ooh, hello, steel fire axe. I don't even have a steel fire axe yet. Scrap that down for the can. I need the iron. And check if Charlie's got anything on him. Yeah, you got a 44 uh, magnum pieces. Um, it's actually Greek Claude's treasure map. I'll I'll check to see that later. See if I can put the 
clear up a space. Uh, I did find a couple more wrenches and everything. I didn't really report on those because it's like, you know, once I found one wrench, I'm like, yeah, I'll let, I'll just tell you guys like once I go to the roof of the place and eat this blueberry pie and nice little snack, a little bit of wellness and. I kind of wanted to speed this up because I wanted to uh, go to some other places with saves. I did get two the saves out of this place though. And... Uh, Alright. Got a uh, penny hanging out. Come here, sweetie. There you go. Take your nap. I'm just looking solely for safes at the moment. Oh, Penny's hanging out here. Break this thing. Come here, Penny. No, we are not doing that. Come on. There you go, sweetie. Let's see if there's anything in here. Want to make this kind of fast and furious? Nothing, nothing in there. I'm gonna save the steel fire axe for once I get to. It. Ooh, very nice pair of uh, overalls. I mean, very nice uh, overalls in general. And I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just throw some of this junk in the fridge. Uh, can always come back for it later. Did find a nice sniper rifle stock out of that gun store box. Um, break into here. I'm hoping there's a gun save up here. That would be very nice just to help with the the mission objective. Oh, hi Charlie. How we doing, buddy? Another 44 Magnum grip. You just love giving me those. Um, no safe in here, but we do got a backpack with just some water and uh, some extra resources. Anything out of you? Nada. And nada. Okay, we're... I will let you know once I, got, uh, once I find the next safe, I'm... Really gun for safe right the uh, right now, so see you guys in just a second. And I found another gun safe and pistol receivers. Uh, I did find iron boots schematic and a leather chest arm schematic. Uh, while uh, looking for safes, I did find a nice shotgun barrel. So I think if because I didn't bring, I didn't have uh, the the loot from the uh, the well bunker on me until uh, yeah, I put it in a dump chest on Ward on Ward Day. Uh, I'm pretty sure I uh, have a you know, still have a shotgun stock, and I I did leave a shotgun receiver behind, so I could find a. Some shotgun parts. I can actually uh, find the. Let me get a shotgun going again. Okay. Unless there's a safe in here. Let's see if there is. Um, no. But let's see what's in the book bag. Shotgun barrels and a cowboy hat. Um. Let's see if it anything. Charlie's got a nice frame on the 44 Magnum, so not bad, but not what I'm looking for. So I'll tune in with you once again when once I find another gun save for regular death save. And I found another safe. I think this makes it four. So I'm hunting rifle receivers and. A pistol receiver and pistol grip, and check the ladder real quick. I know it's dark for you guys. Nope. Um, I need 
I'm pretty sure I need one more save for for me to not fail this challenge and just let me check around here because I think there might be if I didn't already there should be a ow damn crawler just take advantage I already hit the safe on that um apparently I think the loots respawn for yeah the loots respawn for the uh, for the stuff here uh, check the crack a book yeah I have a loot respawn set to every 10 days check to see if uh, there's anything nope can check the... Let's see... Uh... Oh, Shantytown. There is a safe in there. Oh, but it's got mines. You know what? Let's actually hit up the... Uh... Uh, this house here. I'm pretty sure there's a death save. Yeah, there should be. Uh, I know where it is. So. Pop through here. Pop through here. I know it's just about night time. Ooh. It's nice pants for me. Yeah, I'm just gonna break into the safe, and, and uh, hopefully, oh, where's the zombie at, but, take out the zombie, and I will be back with you shortly. And I died again. That makes it three deaths within a day. Man, things are really not going well for me. And two of those deaths were too uh, curly, so... Yeah, I failed the mission, so... No mission repairs in next episode, so... Like I said, I am not ending this series. Not yet, so... I'm going to suffer through this, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to learn, so... I'm going to leave this episode here, and take care, guys. Have a great day.